name is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Ko's Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Curtis Shot Dogs of All Bought Built Theme Park News and welcome to a Theme Park News from Update. This is from Sealed Orlando and wow. <laughs> Let's just say we could be on for a big 2021 for the Bush Gardens and SeaWorld Parks as well. Obviously we've had filings for a brand new flat ride on the Rhino Rally site at Bush Gardens Tampa. Obviously a 300 plus foot Rumoured coaster similar to Red Force or a Giga coaster could be coming to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. SeaWorld San Diego, rumoured to get this Wild Arctic themed uh, family launch coaster, multi launch coaster uh, like Wave Breaker at San Antonio. Um, obviously, San Antonio has been teasing with a puffer fish, something big is coming in 2021. And now, SeaWorld Orlando has filed plans to the county and the council for a brand new rumoured roller coaster for the 2021 season. Now before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Share the channel around with your friends, family, and on social media, and let's get into this video. So, these filings, let's talk about them. So I'm gonna put, what well, I basically I've used Google Maps, and I've done like a rough sort of outline of where this is gonna be located. So on your screen now, find out Bidorsi. You can see that's near the, that's basically around the back of the Bayside Stadium. So it's right near to uh, where Icebreaker is, um, sort of below it. Uh, but this is actually taking up the entrance area of the park, exactly 3.6 acres of land. Uh, how I've circled it is not, you know, exactly, but it's just around that spot, looking at around that spot. So it's part of the main entrance of the park. Uh, so this is a 3.6 acre of land near the front entrance of the park, like we've shown you. Uh, the project is codenamed Penguin. Uh, now, I'm going to talk about rumours of what type of coaster it will be. Um, and this is something I want to discuss mainly in this video. Uh, now, the early rumours pointing to the park is a possible, wait for it, B&M Wing Coaster. Now, if this is true, we could be seeing, uh, well, reportedly or rumouredly, two wing coasters by B&M for 2021. One at Orlando in SeaWorld, and it will be the first sort of wing coaster in the state of Orlando. But also, we could be seeing that rumoured wing coaster replacing Volcano the Blast Coaster at King's Dominion. So we could see the year of the wing coasters coming back. I mean, we saw it over a two-year period. Uh, obviously, we have Flood the Diamond a couple of years later, but we had it over a two-year period with Raptor at Gardaland in 2011 and the Swarm at Thorpe Park back in 2012. So, you know, we had like a, a pattern of like one, one after year, one year after year. Uh, and then obviously Gatekeeper at Cedar Point, that took it to 2013. And he just kept going from there, really. So I think having ones in the same year is going to be on the card here. Now, I've read the Screenscape article, and the, there is wonders. There are wonders with the with the code name Penguin. It could also be hinting at a new dive machine like the Emperor Coaster based on the Emperor Penguin. That's at San Diego. That's being constructed, ready for the 2020 season to, uh, this year. Uh, so I think with the code name Penguin that could link to a dive coaster and I think looking at the 3.6 acre site I think they could definitely do a dive coaster. I mean you look at I'll give you two examples at Cedar Point Val Raven and Gatekeeper both of them revitalized the front and back entrances of the park So I think this one this coaster either way will revitalize the entrance But it's just a case of how how are they going to do that? Uh, and I think either coaster would revitalise the park's front entrance. So uh, I can't wait either way. Uh, now, this now if so, this would be the only dive machine in Orlando, with Sheikra being the only other one in the state, having opened back in 2005 at Busch Gardens Tampa. If you guys remember that one. Uh, now, thinking back to the B&M Wing coaster, Screamscape has heard rumours that B&M was developing a new train for the wing coasters. Now this is not confirmed, uh, but this is just what I've read and what I've heard. So there's rumours that wing coasters develop new trains. 
that would feature seats able to invert by rotating forward and backwards in the same fashion as an SNS 4D uh, sort of 4D coaster like X2 at Six Flags Magic Mountain. So its theoretical B&M 4D coaster will be very noticeable and gain a lot of attention, especially when placed right at the front of the park. Now, what I've also been reading um, is I was what well, I was reading an article from Coaster Kings, uh, and there was a rumor that. Uh, I think someone in one of their one of the forums for another website had said that um, there were like something to do with the front gate. I can't remember exactly, so I'm not going to comment on what it was. I'm not going to say what it was, but it was something to do with the front gate. So uh, this could lead to it being a wing coaster or potentially be a wing coaster. But I think you know the big sort of talking point here is that we could be seeing a B&M in 2021 in Orlando. Now we haven't seen a B&M in Orlando since uh, Mako, the B&M Hyper, which opened way back in uh, 2016. So, um, you know, five years away from a B&M when this opens, you know, it's a long time, definitely a long time. But, you know, SeaWorld have really been pushing these investments year after year. So um, I think this invest the investments just aren't going to slow down at any point soon. I think they're going to go keep going for the next few years. So... Uh, I think SeaWorld really are focusing on the rides for the next few years um, and the whole revitalization of the theme parks. SeaWorld San Antonio has been a part that um, needs a lot of work, according to some people. San Diego has needed some improvements elsewhere. Uh, Orlando is a great part, but I'm sure they need some things to edit to their lineup. And then the Busch Gardens parks have always... You know, you've always got to develop the Busch Gardens parks as well. Um... But I think a B&M dive or a B&M wing in Orlando would be welcome fits for the park. Absolutely welcome fits. So I'm <clears throat> I'm completely open to the idea of a B&M wing or a B&M dive for 2021. I'm open to either idea, but it's just a wait and see contest, really. Let's just see what's going to happen. Uh, what we're going to find, you know, uh, are we going to see like a, a layout plan? Um, in the near future. If we do, then we'll kind of know what layout we're going for here uh, and what type of coaster we're looking at getting here. You know, is it going to be the only dive coaster in Orlando? Is it going to be the only wing coaster in Orlando? We'll have to wait and see. Is it going to be the first B&M 4D coaster, the fourth dimensional coaster by B&M? Uh, is it going to be a surf coaster? <laughs> maybe. I mean, SeaWorld, Sea, Surf, maybe. <laughs> Nah, a surf coaster wasn't mentioned, but that's just my personal opinion. I think a surf coaster could potentially happen as well. Um, we kind of saw a surf coaster in the plans, if you saw it, like some big expansion plans for Ocean Park over in uh, in Asia. Um, and it looked like a bit of a surf coaster was going on there with the, the wavy turns sort of rocking against the wall. So... Um, a surf coaster would be great, but I think we're looking more at a B&M wing or a B&M dive with this. So I think either way, either way, SeaWorld Orlando has got a big project on their hands uh, either way. So thank you very much. Please, please comment down below what you think about this. Is it going to be a B&M wing? Is it going to be a B&M dive? You know, what do you think it's going to be? Comment down below and I'll reply to your comments. You know I do. For now, guys, thank you very much. My name is Coach Jal Coot in the Coast Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, friends. Thank you.